So in this video, we're going to go over how to adjust the location of your elbows. So one of the strong points about CAD works is the routing command and the ability also to change the location of your elbows. And that's what we're going to show you here today. So let's start off with changing this elbow to a T. Uh, so if we click on it, you'll see that there's a uh, arrow right at the corner of the uh, elbow. So we're going to click on that and it's going to ask us what do we want to change it with. Do we want to change it with a T or do we want to put an elbow lead at the end of it? Now we're just going to change it to a T. And I give it a direction. So we're going to come out this way. And you notice that it'll, it shortens up uh, the pipe or it lengthens the pipe to meet up to the T because the T is not as long as a long radius elbow. So now we're going to come over here and let's say we started routing and we're not finished with the other part of the line but we got this right here and we want to go right there and we're going to hit stop okay and we're going to come over here and we're going to put you know um, before we forget we're going to come over here and we we'll do a valve gate valve um, right there at that end there we go. Okay, so now we got our gate valve here. Now we got to come back over here and we got a waterfall right here. This is where our waterfall is going to be. So we're going to come back here and start uh, routing our pipe from this direction here. So let's say we want to drop down this direction. And so if we click on right here, you can see that our elbow has been cut back to where our line was at the end and so that's where the center is but let's say we didn't want that we wanted to be at the end of that pipe before we drop our elbow so if you go to T for toggle it's right down here toggle length okay so let's go ahead and hit T and enter and see what happens now you can see that the end point of our elbow where our weld and our pipe meet is exactly at that same location as where we ended our pipe and so you can come over here drop it down okay and if you do another toggle it cuts it back and so depending on you know where you are so let's say if we drop it down and so Let's go back down. Okay, so we're going to come here and we're going to hit this beam right here. So let's rotate this around. And we want to do a dot. I see Z. And we're going to pick that. Okay. At sign. And we're going to come over here. And you can see that we're actually below the beam that we want to be that we don't want that so we're going to hit toggle enter come over and since we're in our bottom I mean our center line of our pipe you can see that it is uh, going smack dab to the middle of it so let's change that why don't we add it so let's go to our alignment and we want to go bottom of pipe and now you can see that I keep snapping on things so I'll turn that off you can see that our pipe is now part of or our pipe is at the same elevation as this beam and so basically what we did was we cut back we toggled the the elbow to be at the end of that construction line we did uh, and then we told the software to do it at the bottom of pipe and so it calculated everything brought it up and now we're right across that uh, support that is right there off our structure we didn't have to get out of the command we didn't have to do construction lines we didn't have to do any of that stuff so all we did was we kept running with our pipe making some adjustments that the software allows us to do to route that pipe a couple other things you can do within the side of the software when you're routing your pipe let's say we go ahead and click on this plus sign right here uh, you've got 
of course your your fitting modes uh you can change it from butt weld socket weld threaded uh we're in we're in butt weld so we'll do butt weld uh our elbow type you can change the type of elbow so if you go to elbow type you got a long radius that's our default short radius you can do a miter or you can do a some option you can do a bend if you want to so these commands only work when you're routing pipe. If you pick your fitting from the spec uh, view, it's not going to allow you to do a cutback from that. So uh, try to use your plus signs. It eliminates uh, some disconnects and stuff like that. So it's always a good rule of thumb. Hope this helps understand uh, a little bit more about using the toggle uh, when you're using your elbows. Uh, again, if you have any comments or questions, please let me know. Uh, and also remember to like, share, and subscribe. And tell your friends about our channel. And uh, until next time.